NFL Super Contest picks heading into week four. Thus far on the season, I am nine and six against the spread. I went three and two last week. Uh, so not too shabby. But uh, but let's go on and do it. Let's talk about it. And I never I never go long on these, but I just want to give you my picks, what I'm entering into my contest. And as it sits, uh, like I said, I'm 9-6 and six thus far against the spread this year. Uh, I do these based on power ratings. I sometimes look at trends just to get an idea, but more so this is based on what my power ratings are. So uh, I'm going to take the Bears plus 3.5. Uh, I think that line should be closer to uh, a pick em, basically. If you're going to give me three and a hook at the Giants, uh, I will certainly do that. Um, head-to-head on this, uh, the road team is actually 8-3 and three against the spread in the last 11 in the, between these two. Uh, the underdog is 5-1 and one against the spread in the last six. Uh, Giants, of course, Monday night game, short week. Uh, the Bears, I think, have looked a little bit better than people are giving them credit for. I have them power rated uh, a little bit higher. So I, I will take the Bears to cover three and a half here. Uh, next game, the Rams against the 49ers. This one, of course, Monday Night Football. The Rams are a two and a half point dog. Now, the trends certainly go against me. The Rams 0 and 5 against the spread in their last five against the 49ers. However, the underdog is 7 and 0 against the spread in the last seven between these two. Uh, the Rams have always been slightly overrated. In this matchup, uh, not just in this matchup, just overall, right? People love Sean McVay for a little while. They were getting a lot of uh, of juice. I will say that. Uh, in this situation, I think they're actually being undervalued a little bit here, so I'm going to take the Rams to cover 2.5 on Monday Night Football at the 49ers. The Bills at the Ravens. I'm going to take the Ravens to cover 3.5. Yeah, I know there's injuries. Yeah, I get all that. But the Bills have injuries too. Um, the Bills are 1-4 and four against the spread their last five in Baltimore. Uh, the home team in this is 4-1 and one against the spread in the last five matchups between the two. Uh, I think the Ravens are pretty good. I mean, it, you got Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen. Both of them are really good. Both of them can win a game by themselves. I will take Lamar at home to, I, I think they got a shot to win the game. You're giving me three and a hook. Yeah, I'm absolutely going to take it. So give me the Ravens. Next one, number four, Browns. A one-point favorite at the Falcons. I get all of the injuries. I understand Joby, uh, Jacoby Brissett is not as good as Deshaun Watson. I get it. I know that there's problems with the Browns. I do think there are still problems with the Falcons. I know that they've looked pretty good the first couple of weeks. I don't think the Saints are very good. I don't think the Seahawks are very good. Uh, I will I will absolutely take uh, the Browns as a one-point favorite in Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta, 1-5 and five against the spread. In their last six at home, uh, the Browns are 4-1 and one against the spread. Their last five against Atlanta. Yeah, I'm going to take that because that included when the Browns were not very good. Like, I still think that this Browns team is okay. Uh, so, I will take them to cover one point on the road in Atlanta. The Commanders at the Cowboys. This is my number five game here. I like the Cowboys to cover three and a half. The Commanders are 2-5 and five against the spread in their last seven against the Cowboys. Uh, I think Cooper Rush is good. Like, this Cowboys team looks... They were a complete disaster on opening night against Tampa Bay. I, I get that. But since then, this team looks well put together. They look, they look good. So, yeah, I know that they had the Monday night, you know, they've got the short week. But they've won two straight. I don't think the Commanders are very good. Uh... You're telling me that you're going to get Carson Wentz to go on the road and, and win a game against a good team or even stay within three of the Cowboys? I'm going to take the Cowboys. 100%. Give me, give me, the, give me them boys minus three and a half to cover there. So to recap here, Bears plus three and a half, Rams plus two and a half, uh, the Ravens plus three and a half, the Bears, excuse me, the Browns minus one, and the Cowboys minus three and a half. Remember, thus far on the season, nine and six against the spread, three and two last week. Here's hoping we can have three and two weeks every single week out. We're hoping. We're hoping. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.